So uh, welcome again to a two-part quick tutorial on uh, the fastest setting I can imagine how to edit pictures using Patty, a uh, MIDI controller here bearing it with sliders, and an external keyboard. What I do on the external keyboard here, this is an X keys, you could also just map onto keys. Uh, we're going to do this in two parts. Um, part one is how um, I want to show you how I have set this up uh, to be really uh, fast in editing and jumping to the uh, settings that you want. And then the second part is we're going to explore how uh, how I actually set this up. So to begin with, here we have a picture. Say I want to change something in the basic setup. Um, I go to basic setup. I want to have this a little warmer. You can see my sliders move to where I want it. Um, I, I also happen to think this is a little overexposed. Um, so I take I take this down a bit, and I want to uh, I, I would like to increase um, some of the clarity which I have up here. Uh, and the vibrance and the saturation. All right, so that's done. Going to the next picture. Um, now I'll see here. I just want to have this the same setup as the previous. Oh, don't quite like this too much. And uh, say I also want to increase my sharpness. I go to sharpness. My first sliders here are now on sharpness. I increase the sharpness. And again, this is just for illustration purposes. Um, uh, say I want to do some somewhere around the noise reduction. I go to noise reduction. I have my noise reduction slider here. Um, and say I want to do uh, something I want to put in the filter. Here's my filter. You can see the panel opens. So I can pull down a filter uh, and I can actually change the exposure of the filter if I wanted to. Whoops, that's probably in the wrong direction if I ever wanted to do this. Um, uh, and I go and uh, maybe I want to do some post crop veneering uh, for, for, oops, for reasons that I can't quite imagine. Uh, but I want to do some post crop veneering here. And I put on some vignettes and so on. So as you can see, each of these buttons switches my panel in Lightroom, basic, noise, sharpness, to, um, tone uh, uh, curve, lens correction, and so on. The sliders move towards the sliders exactly here on the screen. Um, uh, and by the way, I have some other things set up here. So say, for instance, on my uh, noise reduction, my second level here just toggles my noise reduction. For instance, let's see, um, post crop vignette is going to show this much easier. Um, so if we go to post crop vignette here, off, on, off, on, and I can also just simply reset everything by doing this, for instance. All my sliders are set up. If I go back to basics, I do some make some mistakes like this. Uh, here's my reset button. Okay, so my temperatures reset, etc. So the other settings here are similar. Um, I can do something similar for, uh, for crop, for instance. Here's my crop. Um, uh, 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 and I can do uh, 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 my brushes. Uh, I also can do uh, all the way over here, for instance, for the saturation. You see the panel opens, uh, and I start to move the saturation sliders. If I want to do it in the hue sliders, I can move over here to the hue sliders, um, and so on. So this is the fastest way I can think of uh, how to set this up. I see exactly what I want to edit. If I don't want to have the left panel, maybe I switch that off. Um, this whole thing also works uh, without the right panel at the beginning, and as I move things, you can see I can actually edit. This is kind of a ridiculous edit here, but I can edit these things, and I can uh, uh, reset things. Say in the basic panel is probably the most obvious. Changing my temperature here, you can see the temperature changes. Uh, I don't even need to see the panels. As soon as I open the uh, right panel again, uh, and I switch to, say, noise, um, the, the right panel opens. So this was a very fast speaking uh, setup. Again, that's my setup. Uh, this is the bearing or controller. You can have the BCR with the rotaries or the BCF with these sliders. It works for both. This is an X keys. Uh, I use that. Uh, anything I did here, a lot of people like this on the numpad, uh, which Paddy allows you to map to. So hope you enjoyed that. And the second video is going to be about how I set this up. And it's uh, probably going to be a lot longer than this. By the way, you notice this is the first time I moved the mouse here at this point. So uh, obviously, if you use the... Um, the uh, the brush over here or, or the filter. Uh, I think I used it for the filter now that I think about it. But if you use the brush or the filter, you will need it. But other than that, you really don't ever need um, the mouse uh, when you edit with Paddy and you sort of have fast throughput, throughput editing.